Hello, everybody. I'm Permal. And I'm Ryan. We're the founders of Perfect Day, and we're excited to share our story with you today. I was born and raised in India, and I moved to the US four years ago in 2013. My parents moved from India to America in the 1980s. I was born and raised in Connecticut, where I had a fairly typical American childhood. Here's the funny thing. We didn't actually know each other when we started the company. Four years ago, when we met for the first time, we realized that we had two things in common. Both of us wanted to have impact on a global scale, and we loved food. We both grew up eating real meat and dairy products, enjoying their delicious, indulgent taste. Who doesn't love a rich ice cream or a melty, gooey cheese? These tastes are deeply ingrained in our memories. But as we got older, we started to develop an awareness of the big picture. We started to learn about global climate change and ask questions about how our lifestyle might be contributing to the problems. Eventually, we came to learn that our diet in particular was having a greater impact than we might have wanted. And so, around the beginning of college, we both decided to go vegetarian. Now, this wasn't terribly difficult. We basically replaced all the meat we were eating with eggs and dairy. You sort of cling to the only animal products you have left. But eventually, our commitment to the big picture led us to realize that eggs and dairy are part of the very same problematic system as meat. And so, a few years later, we painfully made the transition to being fully vegan. This meant we were no longer eating any meat, nor eggs, nor, most difficult for us, dairy. Can you imagine? Say goodbye to cream in your coffee, butter on your toast, cheese in all its delightful forms. It sucked. I actually hated my life back then. We were trying to do the right thing, but it was so hard. When we changed to a vegan diet, that single decision completely changed our relationship with food. We could no longer find good options to eat. All of the dairy alternatives that were available felt like they were held together with glue instead of real food. And the worst part, we could no longer enjoy the social elements of just sharing food with family and friends, because none of them wanted to adopt a vegan diet. The diet that is good for the planet and good for the animals forces you to compromise. It forces you to compromise on flavor, on nutrition, and on the overall experience. And that was the inspiration for us. Well, we started by taking a step back and looking at how the food system works today for animal products. And when you do that, you quickly realize two things. The first is that animal agriculture is extremely inefficient. The way we produce animal protein today is posing a huge challenge to the environment. I'm not going to give you the numbers or hit you over the head with the statistics. You can easily look those up. But know that animal agriculture is posing a grave threat to our planet as it is. Why? Because there are 70 billion land animals today, but they feed only 7 billion people. Most of the food we grow as a society goes towards feeding those 70 billion, and only a small part of it is converted into useful food for us. It's crazy. The natural resources like water and land that are required to produce these products at scale are becoming more and more scarce day by day, but the demand is only growing. And that brings us to the second troubling trend. You see, it's hard enough to produce sufficient animal protein to meet the demand of today. What about tomorrow? Despite a growing awareness of these challenges, we find that demand for animal protein is still only increasing all over the world. And as you probably heard a hundred times today, the world population is expected to surpass 9.5 billion by 2050. Interesting to me is that many of these new people are going to be in developing economies, where as a larger and wealthier middle class emerges, typically one of the first things that these empowered new consumers start to spend their money on is animal protein. If you combine these two factors, you have a perfect storm. Not only do we need to produce far more protein, but we have to do so in a way that is fundamentally less damaging than what we do today. Now, sure, the easy answer would be for everyone to just stop eating animal products and switch to alternatives. But we can tell you from first-hand experience that's easier said than done. That's ultimately why we've set out to support the evolution of our food system as a whole by creating a more secure, environmentally friendly, and nutritious source of protein without the use of a single animal in the entire process. Okay, so how do you make animal protein 
without animals? I remember I had that exact question in my mind one day at work back in 2014. At the time, I was developing antibodies and other medicines using the tools of biotechnology. And I had this sort of aha light bulb moment when I realized that the antibodies I was making already were animal proteins made without animals, which led to the question, could this very same technology be used to make high quality protein for the food industry that wouldn't have these kind of impacts on the environment and on animals and all these other th different things? That's ultimately, when I met Paramal in 2014, what surprised me so much about us is that he had come to the exact same realization through his work in biomedicine. And that's why we teamed up and joined forces to start Perfect Day. We had recognized an untapped opportunity to create protein using these technologies. The key is fermentation. Fermentation is the art and science of just converting nutrients from one form into the other. We've created a type of yeast that converts sugar into milk protein. That is the key to our technology and our entire platform. The cool thing is, we're taking sugar, something that the world is pretty good at producing, and we're converting it into high-quality, nutritious protein that the world is demanding. We've designed our process to fit into existing infrastructure that's found all over the globe, and we're working with the industry to scale up, and we will be out there in a big way pretty soon. <laughs> If you're wondering what our process actually looks like, imagine a beer brewery. If you walk into our production process in the future, there'll be these beautiful giant stainless steel tanks. Inside it will be yeast that's converting sugar into milk protein for human use. Our platform allows us to make any protein out there. But we chose dairy proteins for two reasons. It's nutrition and it's functionality. Dairy protein is the most nutritious source of protein available to humans today. It contains all of the essential amino acids required. It's super digestible. It helps in everything from muscle recovery to halting stunted growth in children. And it also delivers a ton of calcium to your body. On the functionality side, these proteins are the reason dairy is so amazing. When you take a scoop of yogurt and put it in your mouth, that body, that creaminess, that mouthfeel, it's all the protein. The reason milk is white in color is because of the protein. The reason when you take a slice of pizza from the entire pie, that beautiful stretch that you see when you're removing that piece of pizza, it's the protein. If you tried to make cheese using plant protein, the best thing you can actually make today is tofu. Now, don't get me wrong. I like tofu, but it ain't cheese. Our plan is to create a new way for the world to make dairy proteins so that we can all go on eating our favorite food products, just healthier, kinder, and greener, than ever before. If we can create proteins that are more sustainable and more humane and better for everyone involved than the animal equivalent, but still deliver on taste and price and convenience, then the dilemma disappears. The choice that's best for our bodies and for animals and the planet can become the default answer for consumers because we're no longer asking anyone to compromise. And that is what separates us from the pack. If you look at plant proteins, they're just not functional and they're not nutritious. That's why food manufacturers, when they use plant proteins to make any product, they're really compromising by adding in emulsifiers, starches, hydrocolloids, gums, things you really don't want in your food. Animal protein, super functional, super nutritious, but it's not going to scale. It's just not sustainable. We have created a solution that's the best of both worlds. It contains the nutrition of dairy because it is dairy protein, but because it's produced in a new way, it has the heart and soul of plant-based proteins. It's way more sustainable, a true win-win solution. For us, this isn't a solution for next generation. The technology is possible today, and the world urgently needs this as soon as possible. The dairy industry itself may be reaching a ceiling. We've heard from people that work inside the dairy industry and are concerned whether dairy is going to be able to reach meat protein demand by 2025 we're starting to hit the biological limits of what we can make cows do. Meanwhile, consumers are in the midst of a massive global shift away from animal products, animal protein in particular. Paramal and I are two examples of this, but you've probably noticed this in your everyday life too. We've read that more than 60% of millennials are trying to reduce the amount of animal protein in their diet, if not going all the way to vegetarian or vegan. And that may sound like great news, and it is, don't get me wrong, but it's nowhere near the kind of critical mass that we're going to need to really address the problems that we're talking about here. 
Finally, food companies are always looking for innovative ingredients that can bring new experiences to food. Our approach enables food innovation while solving some of the world's greatest challenges. And that might just be why food companies are lining up to be among the first to work with our ingredients. And we can't wait to share it with them. When we first started on this journey, we were obsessed with making products like cheese, yogurt, ice cream, finished goods. But on the way, we learned that dairy proteins offer functionality to a wide variety of products, not just fresh dairy. This means that if we zoom out a little bit and take more of an ingredient-centric approach, perfect day dairy proteins, and therefore our impact, will be able to extend to products in every aisle of the grocery store, not just the dairy case. Four years ago, we were trying to have impact by changing our individual diets. Two years ago, we would have been happy with the impact of just launching a single product on the retail store. But today, now that we've embraced an ingredient strategy and we've taken a broader look at how the food industry actually works, we're truly blown away by the scale of impact we can have, disrupting a nearly trillion dollar market. And looking forward, we're really excited to partner with the industry to come up with creative solutions to some of the greatest problems challenging our generation. Like, how do all of us continue to enjoy the cheese on our pizza without having to compromise on the planet or our own nutrition or our own experience? The world is changing, and the food system needs to change and evolve with it. And the two of us are super excited that we have the rare opportunity to help drive that evolution in the field of dairy. Thank you.